Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the talk on Bach flower essences with sweet chestnut. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When trying to determine which Bach flower essence to use, it's necessary to understand the characteristics and symptoms of the essence from a psychological position. This is because the Bach flower essences work on the subtle bodies of the human subtle anatomy field. For healing to take place, you need to look at the situation from this different level. So, what are the characteristics of sweet chestnut? The Bach flower essence of sweet chestnut is used for people who are in a state of total despair and stand on the verge of a complete breakdown. Sweet chestnut is used as the basic treatment for desperation, mental anguish, extreme depression, acute hopelessness, extreme spiritual suffering, and mental or physical breakdown. It is used to treat all pathological conditions related to desperation. In daily life, sweet chestnut is seldom needed, only if the person is at the end of the rope and they don't know how to proceed. The sweet chestnut syndrome is characterized by a great inner strength, self-responsibility, and the ability to suffer consciously. When positively developed, the sweet chestnut type is independent, possesses an inner strength, and is up to meeting life's challenges. They don't avoid problems, but instead they see them as a kind of personal test and an opportunity for mental and spiritual growth. When harmoniously developed, these people are strong enough to handle any kind of a crisis without falling to pieces. They have this belief that any life is essentially good and that even the pains and sorrows that life sends their way also serve to make them a better person. They instinctively know that their spirit cannot be lost or defeated and that they are never faced with a test that is beyond their ability to surpass, even though they may be pushed to their limits or even lose their physical lives. When negatively expressed, the sweet chestnut inner strength can turn into a pig-headed, arrogant inflexibility that puts them in a power struggle with their fate. Ultimately, this is a battle that they cannot win. And so they become mired in a senseless and stubborn resistance to reality that takes them to the limits of their emo mental and emotional powers and leaves them feeling desperate. The sensation here is like a person who is in a trap from which there's no escape and they feel that their next move, that is, if they can even make that move at all, will inevitably lead them to a breakdown or to their own destruction. When these people reach this point, they can't think anymore, can't feel anymore, can't act anymore, and simply want wants because waits because they feel they have gone too far from which point there is no move forward or backward movement to be had. Sweet chestnut is the Bach flower essence that is used to help combat the state of total desperation. It acts like a kind of mental softener and enables the person to release their resistance and their reservations in dealing with reality. It gives the person an acceptable perspective to go on living and lets them find a way out of a seemingly hopeless situation. When their emotional balance is regained and their optimistic, realistic and more human natures return to them, then they can let go of their weaknesses and leave themselves trustingly in the hands of fate. Sweet chestnut can also be tried when the physical body is in an extreme state of reactive rigidity. The basic theme of the sweet chestnut type is that of conscious suffering. 
This does not mean inflicting on themselves a masochistic form of suffering or strengthening sorrows that already exist. Rather, it means being clear and honest with themselves that they are suffering, but that they are suffering and that they are not entirely innocent of this. Most of us tend to shy away from this view because then we obligate ourselves to do something about our suffering. And this makes it impossible to act as if we are powerless to do anything at all. All of us, through either our behavior or our attitudes, contribute to our own misery. We are all responsible for everything in our lives, suffering included. Suffering comes about essentially when we try to resist reality and want to have things other than the way they really are. If we understand conscious suffering, we can prevent extreme suffering by dealing attentively with our fate and our feelings, by correctly correcting negative developments when they first arise, and by resolutely battling unhappiness, because we are responsible for everything, everything in our lives. Sweet chestnut types are always faced with the dichotomy between strength and weakness, and between fighting and giving up. They normally face their problems bravely, and take them as personal tests, and they will fight against the difficulties and challenges of their fate. On occasion, they go too far and forget that fate. Instinctively, we realize that we have brought about this situation ourselves. In truth, Behind this behavior is a searching question, Who are you, God? I challenge you to acknowledge me. This question is an essential one for sweet chestnut types who always have their lives in control because they have lost their elemental awareness that they are merely creatures and weak humans. In other words, the more inflexibly we behave, and the more forcefully we refuse to accept that which faith offers us, the more deeply our soul couples us to the extreme limits in order to make us conscious of our own human pettiness and weakness. In the desperation of the sweet chestnut syndrome, we finally exist, realize and recognize the existence of God, the Creator. In principle, any of us could find ourselves in this situation. It does not have to occur more, it does occur more frequently, however, in those with the syndromes, descri symptoms described here. When this condition appears, reasonable words and advice do not help very much because we are acting with an infantile helplessness. We want it our way. We can avoid the sweet chestnut syndrome by paying attention to the warning signs which our spirit offers us in the form of minor, frustrating losses or defeats. With its help, we can correct our inner behavior or external conditions. We can learn flexibility when we recognize that our plans are unrealistic. We can learn patience when we cannot realize our desires and we can learn to accept fate when things are not going well for us and to accept when we have hit bottom. Some common combinations of sweet chestnut with other Bach flower essences are as follows. Combined with cherry plum, it helps with desperation due to emotional stress. Combined with elm, it helps with desperation caused by overexertion. Combined with gorse, it helps with absolute hopeless desperation. Combined with rock rose, it helps with desperation due to panicky fear and anxiety. Combined with Star of Bethlehem, it helps with desperation due to a mental or emotional shock. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel.
by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.